Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this. This is the recently released uh, Plastic Gunfighters box uh, by Great Escape Games for the, the Wild West shoot em up war game uh, Dead Man's Hand. Um, I'm very new to Dead Man's Hand, in fact I only received my, my roadblock and my bits and pieces this week. So, very very new to it. What I thought I'd do, just a very short video just to show you exactly what you get in the box and also what I've been able to make with them so far. So, let's have a look at the box first. So, in, in each box you get two sprues. Um, enough to make 10 gunfighters. Um, but, just a word on this sprue. This is a very, very packed sprue. In all my years of gaming and modelling, I've not seen a sprue with as, as little spare space on it as, as, as this. Absolutely fantastic achievement by, by Great Escape Games in, in such, a, such a packed sprue. I was, I was blown away by the amount of, of, um, of bits and pieces on here. But let's start with the basics. Like I said before, you get enough on each sprue to make five gunfighters. But there is so much on here for a high level of customization for kit bashing for you know for, for conversions you're gonna love this sprue so like i said there's enough there's enough legs and torsos on the sprue to make five sort of outlaws or desperados or lawmen or cowboys or what have you you get in on on the sprue is 11 different heads so these range from you know your, your classic wild west lawman looking ones to your grizzle outlaw and desperado but they can be interchanged um, the, there's so much scope on here for, for doing that but yeah 11 heads will ensure that your um, your gangs will be different from each other so let's move on to the weapons now lots and lots of weapons on this sprue mainly pistols but that's the the gun of choice in, in dead man's hand is the um, is the trusty um, lawman's revolver sidearm type thing now one nice touch um, with this sprue is you get you get them guns in left hands which is very rare you don't really see that a lot these days but on this sprue yeah quite a few options for having pistols held in the left hand uh, and also left-handed holsters as well which is a really really nice touch um, it, it's the ones I've made it's just brought an extra level of sort of realism to them it's a really nice touch you now you know, kudos to Great Escape for for including that on the sprue so up here we have more weapons we have shotguns, uh, double barrel shotguns there. Uh, we've got a rifle and a repeater, and again more pistols um, and holsters. And some some really nice touches here if you want to customise your bases. So we've got a nice skull there, we've got a stick of dynamite, um, a lasso if you're doing cowboys. And what would a Wild West base be if it didn't have a bit of cactus on it? <laughs> we've got that, which is really, really nice. Um, so a quick look at the bodies then. So again, these are really good because the you can switch them out between lawmen and, and desperados. We've got a combination of sort of um, suit jackets. We've got more, um, a civilian looking a civilian looking shirt there. Uh, we've got one there wearing a bit a big duster coat, um, very evocative of the old west. Um, you've got a couple with waistcoats and again coats and you know the, the and the really detailed the the sculpts are so crisp and just really really i had a lot of fun putting these together and i think you'll see that when i show you exactly what i've done with them and again the legs uh we've got um you know standing uh, really dynamic poses we've got a, a guy crouching as well um just a great combination um of bodies and they all go together really well um which is one thing i found when i was putting together um, mine is that you can get so many different combinations out of these but that is the sprue uh, and like I say I am blown away by this I was just the level of detail and the amount you get on here is just so so good so that is the sprue like I say you get you get two in each box gives you enough for ten gunfighters um, which is more or less two gangs in dead man's hand um, for the for, for like sort of smaller reputation games but that is the sprue so what have I been up to with mine now as soon as I got mine I couldn't wait I was <laughs> that night I was putting them together and painting them so I've completed five um, these, 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 these are the start of my sort of my lawman um, gang here there we go so as you can see the level of detail is phenomenal um, and the, these were built from just one sprue bit of a caveat I have added my own sort of kit bashes on two of these so uh, this guy here 
his, his arm is from um, um, a bolt action kit holding a, an American infantry bolt action kit holding a shotgun and that shotgun at the end again is from a bolt action kit so I wanted to cover that so they, they are included in the um, in the box you get that's just me not being able to resist kit bashing no matter what the period game or era <laughs> but yeah what we have here is we've got a the sheriff there on the left with his, his trusty um, trusty revolver we've got a marshal with the shotgun and then we've got um, a couple of I think they're called um, I can't remember what they're called <laughs> but they're the um, oh deputies they're called deputies uh, and at the end we've got an upstanding citizen who's doing his part for the town of Dead Man's Hand but as you can see the level of the level of detail and he's painted up so well um, it's been a long time since I had this much fun painting um, figures and painting Wild West figures is relatively new to me I've not painted too many before so I was really keen to make a start on these but as you can see they paint up really really well uh, I've got a great level of detail um, and when I painted mine up I, I was in two minds about how I wanted to look um, whether I wanted to know really bright sort of you know over the top colours as befits a game that with, with, the, with the mechanics of Dead Man's Hand what I went for is sort of a, a, a more drab muted look um, sort of a homage to, to the old westerns that we all, we all know and love um, which is why I've gone for this sort of really really sort of muted um, colour scheme but I think it works really well so that is the start of my um, Lawman Gang now just to show you what can be achieved these are ones I put together but not painted yet um, now the first one again the caveat um, so the first one's a bit of a kit bash from me um, let's get that into focus um, as you can see to get, to get focus. There we go. So this chap here um, is actually a, a body from a, it's from a, a, a bolt action winter German kit. Um, James, who watches the um, the Plastic Crack podcast, uh, set me a challenge in the Facebook group to see if I could use a, a German winter body um, to to kit bash something for. <laughs> for dead man's hand and i did and i think that that worked out quite well the inspiration behind him was um the comic book character grifter so with his mask and his, his duster coat and his dual pistols um but these work they, you've got to say the, these do work really well with with the bolt action ranger figures so if you if like me you enjoy your kit bashing there's plenty of arms and and, and different things you can you can use on on these plastic dead man's hand figures from the bolt action range so these Again, these are all built from the same box as the lawman, and you wouldn't think it. You really wouldn't. They, there's just so much diversity on, on the um, on on the sprue. Um, you can mix and match, um, and just just come up with some really unique characters. So these chaps here are going to be my sort of desperado gang, and the the backstory for these they're going to be a they're going to be deserters and ne'er do wells that have uh, fled from the American Civil War and formed their own band of desperados. But as you can see, really, really nice. You, you just you wouldn't you wouldn't think they were from the same box. There's, there's just so much, so much. I, I keep banging about it, but the the, the level of custom customization from this box is phenomenal. It really is so so good, and I think I'm going to have me a lot of fun putting these together. So that's what I've made so far. Again, just a very quick review of the um, of the plastic um, box by Great Escape Games. Uh, I'd highly recommend this. It's just such it's just such a wonderful a wonderful kit to work on. Um, I, I had a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to have even more fun and building more in the future. So there we have it. Um, I've not actually done a review video on the channel since back when I first started it back in the day. So I hope you found that really interesting. Um, and, and useful if you're thinking about getting into Dead Man's Hand and you wanted to have a look at what the, what the sprues look like and what the figures look like when they're painted up. Uh, as always, if you've got any quick comments or questions uh, about about these figures, just pop them down below and I'll sit and respond to all comments and questions. But as always, um, thanks for watching. Do take care. May your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye-bye for now.